Jeans have been among the most popular items of clothing in the world for decades. In the United States alone, 450 million pairs are sold each year. One and a half pairs for every man, woman, and child in the country. Those small metal things that look like button snaps on the pockets are such a familiar feature that most people don't even notice them anymore. And they don't really appear to have a purpose. But if they weren't there, your jeans would fall apart much faster. They're called rivets, and they're sewn into the jeans at the points where everyday wear and tear is most likely to cause the fabric to break down. This was the idea of Jacob Davis, a tailor in the 1870s, whose riveted denim trousers became such a hit that he partnered up with dry goods dealer Levi Strauss to help produce them. The rest is history. And even though dozens of clothing brands have imitated their iconic design, Levi Strauss is still the best-selling brand of jeans in the world. It's very common for shirts or trousers to come with a small extra piece of cloth the garment is made from. Most people assume that it's a patch, just in case your shirt gets ripped, but the reason it's included is actually quite a bit more clever. You're supposed to wash the extra piece with your regular laundry before washing the garment itself, so you can see whether or not it shrinks or fades. If it does, you might want to try a different wash cycle or adjust the water's temperature. That little extra piece of fabric isn't there in case you ruin your clothes. It's there to keep you from ruining them in the first place. Just about every pot and pan in the world has a hole near the back of the handle. Most people use these for hanging their pots and pans on racks. And if you don't happen to have a rack, you might think that these little holes are useless. It turns out that they're not actually for hanging at all. It's meant to be used as a temporary holder for your stirring spoon, freeing both hands up so you can add more ingredients or tend to something else. The hole is wide enough so that the end of the spoon can rest over the pot, keeping your utensil from dripping all over the stove. Many styles of men's dress shirts have a small loop on the back. These loops appear to be decorative, but they're actually left over from a time before it became common to use coat hangers. In years past, clothes were often hung on pegs or hooks. The small loops were first used by sailors to hang up their shirts inside their lockers, which is how they came to be called locker loops. Clothing manufacturer Brooks Brothers began including the loops on all of their shirts, and the trend quickly spread. Most people rarely think to use the loops for this purpose today, but this knowledge might come in handy the next time you're at the gym. The long neck style of beer bottle has been around for over a hundred years. Beer bottles come in all sizes, shapes, and colors, although most brewers prefer to use brown glass because it keeps out the most ultraviolet light and keeps beer from quickly going stale. The short necked or stubby design has become more popular over the years, but the long neck has a very practical purpose. It's there to keep your beer from warming up too fast. If you hold a beer around the outside of the bottle, the heat from your hand transfers quickly through the glass and into the beer. However, if you hold the bottle by the long neck, the heat transfers into it and then rises out of the bottle's mouth, and your beer stays colder longer. The hole in the middle of your spaghetti spoon is useful for draining off water if you don't happen to have a strainer. However, this is not its intended use at all. You may have noticed that it can be very hard to guess the right amount of uncooked spaghetti to make one cooked serving. You always seem to end up with too much or not enough. This is what the hole is for, measuring the perfect portion. The amount of uncooked spaghetti that can fit through the hole will make the perfect single portion every time. This handy feature can take all the guessing out of cooking pasta and reduce the amount of leftovers in your refrigerator. The little mini pocket inside the right hip pocket of most pairs of jeans comes in handy for a variety of uses. Many people use them to store change or when they need to keep track of jewelry or other small items. But when jeans were first being produced in the late 1800s, their purpose was much more specific. This was before the invention of the wristwatch, when the most popular type of timepiece was the pocket watch. Pocket watches were often valuable and prized possessions, and the mini pocket made it simple to keep your watch safe and separate from whatever else might be in your pocket. First designed with cowboys in mind, this feature became standard on Levi's jeans, and still is today. If you've ever flown on a commercial airplane, you may have noticed that there are tiny holes near the bottom of every window. This might seem strange since we all know that airplane cabins are highly pressurized and that even tiny holes such as these should be very dangerous. However, these holes are an important part of an airplane window's design. Each window pane is actually three panes. The outer pane is on the outside of the aircraft, and the middle pane separates the two. It's the middle pane that contains the tiny hole, which is called a bleed hole. As the plane climbs higher in the sky, the air pressure outside drops, which makes the air in the plane's cabin want to expand. The hole in the middle pane allows this added pressure to bleed through to the much stronger outer pane and keeps the air pressure in the cabin stable. The hole also keeps the window from fogging up, allowing you to get a great view during your flight. 
Pink and blue pencil erasers are familiar to anyone who has ever gone school shopping, but many people wonder what the blue part is supposed to be for. Much denser and harder than the pink side, the blue side seems to only be good for tearing up paper and does not correct mistakes made in pen despite what all of us seem to have been told as children. In fact, the blue portion is meant to be used with a heavier grade of paper. Regular pencil marks are very difficult to erase from thicker types of paper, like those used in art, because the soft pink eraser tends to crumble away. The tough blue part can stand up to thicker paper Paper and is very useful for artists making pencil sketches, but not so much for your average student. Most running shoes have an extra set of eyelets, the holes for the laces, up near the ankles that seem unnecessary. Standard methods of lacing don't require them and they don't serve any decorative purpose, but it turns out that these extra eyelets have a very clever function that can actually improve the performance of your shoes. Begin by lacing them normally, then thread each lace back through the extra eyelet closest to it, leaving a small loop, then cross each lace over through the opposite loop and cinch them down. You can then tie your shoe as you regularly would. This locks your heel into place, creating an extremely snug fit and preventing blisters.